Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's tuning in worldwide. Thanks to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. This is part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD, and today we're talking about cervical cancer. The American Cancer Society estimates that over 14,000 individuals in the United States will be diagnosed with cervical cancer this year. And unfortunately, over 4,200 will die as a result of cervical cancer. Because of that, a program called CME has been formed to not only give representation to diverse women uh, who make up the cervical cancer community, but also to share their stories. And we're sharing one of those stories today. We're excited to welcome Tamika to our program today. Tamika is also the founder of the organization Survivor. We'll talk to her about that and what it's been like for her to overcome her own challenges when it comes to being diagnosed and treated and what she's doing to help others as well. Tamika, thank you so much for the time. Really do appreciate it. Thank you for having me and also helping us spotlight this important cause, this dear to my heart. Well, th- this is a, a very uh, important topic, uh, Tamika, and I, one thing I did not mention, you are a 20-year cervical cancer survivor, so I want to ask you about this, because this is something, as you said... I'm that, actually that a 21. I, 20, I'm 21 years. Wow. wow. Yeah, well, 21, 21 years. years. So so talk to us then about your own challenges, in Tamika, because you know this very intimately. What was it like for you when it came to your diagnosis and treatment? You know, nothing prepares you for hearing those words, you have cancer. We live in a time right now where, you know, cervical cancer or cancer in general is seen in TV shows. They talk about cancer in movies. There are books about cancer. There are songs about cancer. But when you, the individual or a loved one, hears those words, you have cancer, there is nothing that prepares you for that. So for me, being 25 and dealing with that cancer diagnosis, it was like the world stopped. My life just shattered, and I didn't know how to pick up the pieces. I thought I was going to die. And so for me, I'm very thankful to be alive, and what I've done is really I want to make my survivorship count. I want those 21 years to count. And so for me, that is in service to others and making them feel less alone, and that's what it's all about for me. That leads us then to the, uh, to the organization that I mentioned you founded, Tamika Survivor. Talk to us about that and what the focus is. You know, Survivor was my baby at a time when I was feeling so alone and I didn't understand why I had this cancer that no one else had, and it was connected to this virus, the human papillomavirus. Why did I have to deal with this? And so I created it for selfish reasons because, one, I didn't want to be alone. So I created the community that I wish I had. And my background being in media, I knew that what we needed in the cervical cancer space was powerful stories, people raising their voices and telling what the realities of living with cervical cancer was all about. So survivors serve to not only support those diagnosed with cervical cancer and their loved ones, but also to empower them, right? to also be there and help them navigate through the diagnosis because at the end of the day, no one should feel alone while they're dealing with cancer. And so at Survivor, that's what we're all about. We're a, we're a community. You mentioned sharing your story, Tamika. Talk to us, if you don't mind, about why that is so important, especially when it comes to uh, women of color, making sure that they see representation of themselves, especially when it comes to important topics like this. Well, when you see yourself, you understand, one, that you're not alone, But and I don't want to sound like a broken record like that, but when you see yourself and you see someone that looks like you, the same skin tone, the same skin color, ethnicity, um, the same type of uh, religion, whatever it is, there is something even more touching about that because you understand uniquely the internal turmoil uh, that someone may be dealing with when they're diagnosed with cancer. And so it really is the importance of building community uh, so that people see themselves, they don't feel alone, and it's a way for the general public to see and hear these stories and want to take action, whether that is looking into different treatment options, 
options for themselves or loved ones, or taking action to go get screened if they haven't been screened against cervical cancer for a while. So it really is about making sure that we're building community, that no one feels alone, and that there are resources available, and that people know how to talk to their health care providers. Tamika, what can you tell us? I mentioned See Me, and that's really one of the things that See Me is, is trying to do. What would you tell our audience about See Me and and why this is so important to have and, and where they can go for more information about it? Sure. See Me is a wonderful initiative that I and my organization are really proud to be a part of because it really is about what we believe in, those important stories. And so we're telling stories, but Gen and GenMab, who are behind this initiative, are the ones who are helping us to amplify these cervical cancer stories. And if you go to the website, and I hope you do, um, we have a wonderful See Me YouTube channel. That's See Me, C-E-M-E, at YouTube.com. And so when you go and you look at those See Me stories, you will see women of color. You will see all women um, who are featured and sharing their stories. There, There are powerful stories there and stories that need to be heard. And you also see the internal stories of shame that people feel when they're diagnosed with a cervical cancer. So one of the most important things that I'm hoping that will happen is that we really just do away with that, like, burden of stigma and shame and we lift that veil and we are focused on supporting this beautiful community of those who have been diagnosed with cervical cancer. Such an important topic. I'm glad we have you here to talk about it. Again, everyone, Tamika's been our guest, a 21-year cervical cancer survivor and the founder of Survivor, talking with us about her story and the importance of representation. Again, that YouTube she mentioned was See Me Stories. We'll make sure that we link that up for our audience. Tamika, thank you so much for the great work you're doing and looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you so much. More than welcome. And we thank you, our audience, for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Again, part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. So let's go make today amazing. Take care.